One more task I want to do before I end the stream. Does anyone know what I want to do before I end the stream? No one would guess what I want to do anyway, to be fair. If anyone can actually guess what I want to do before I end the stream, I'll give 10 subs. But you got about a minute to guess. Ha! <laughs> you got about a minute to guess. Hear me out for a minute, all right? Because I do have a little bit of an announcement. PCBWay are currently celebrating their ninth anniversary as the world's leading PCB manufacturer. And I can say that with absolute conviction because I've used their services myself. What's more, if you use my exclusive coupon code, you can get $10 off orders of $40 or more. But time is of the essence and this deal won't last long. So get your project started today. PCBWay offers single and multi-layer PCB fabrication, as well as flexible PCBs, 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, and much more. You can take your idea from just an idea to a fully fledged product, all with PCBWay and their wide variety of services that have been designed to help make creating projects and products as easy as possible. If that's not enough, they're giving everyone the chance to win one of eight cool prizes until the 30th of June 2023. So make sure you check that out over on the website. I'll pin a comment right down below and in the video description where you can use my exclusive discount code and take advantage of what PCBWay have to offer. So I'd like to wish PCBWay a very happy ninth birthday and a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to watching that idiot try and fix something. Fix the PS5 for me, lot of boards. Nope. Nope. Nope, no PS5 board. <laughs> you will never guess it. None of you will. Switchboard, nope, just done one of them. None of you will guess. Fuck you, Mr. Slank. You know what? No, you're not even cool now. That's not even cool. Now I've got to give 10 subs. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, the first time it's ever come on there and, and chatted. <laughs> Well, that for me backfired on me, didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's give one to uh, to Mr. Slank, uh, and then I'll gift another nine. Um, hang on, damn it! Well, I've gifted one to Slank. <laughs> Basically, paying Twitch to stream pretty much. I don't mind. He wants in a while. Nine random subs plus the winner. <laughs> That backfired on me. <laughs> All right, let's change his eating element. It's just cost me 40 quid. <laughs> Technically, that was out of the minute, like way out of the minute that I allocated. Nice guess though. Word of advice, always turn off your hot air if you're gonna change the heating element. Cause they are high power and it is not safe to do it with the power applied to it. So my heating, my actual hot air station itself is turned off, look. So if I, if I turn that on now, see, it's actually turned off. Don't try and do it while it's turned on if you need to change it. It's rather foolish. And also, it's rather annoying because you can't actually get to the damn things without a long reach screwdriver. Well, that's the wrong screwdriver. Still can't get to the damn thing. It is real annoying trying to get to the screws in these. This is why I always put it off for so long because it's just, yeah, it's horrible to do when you burn the f*** out of yourself if it was on. Um, no, because you, there's a difference between it being on and actually pumping out hot air, so... Um, if it was actually, like, blowing out hot air, then yes, but... No, not, not just if it was powered on. Like, just applying power to it is different. Honestly, I, I just hate doing these because it's just so difficult to get to the actual screws. Uh, which ones are the screws? Because you don't need to take all of the screws out, by the way, as well. Um, it's got a couple of screws in certain locations. Right, it's the flat screws, like the flat-headed screws are the ones you don't need to take out. Because otherwise you're just basically stripping the element down. Oh, 
Honestly though, try giving a freaking screwdriver in the damn thing. Come on. You can do it. Get out. There you go. Yeah, so I will keep this as a spare because it does work. It's just a little bit off in terms of temperature. Um, so I will keep that as a spare. But I just don't want to completely get rid of it. And these are keyed as well. They only go in one way. Press down, make sure it's in. That's what she said. Yeah, it is keyed, so you got like um like a groove there, look. And uh it only goes in one way on the handle. So they're really easy to actually change the um the element once you can get to the screws. See, starts to get awkward. There we go. One brand spanking new element. Make sure you don't go bang. This is an official Atom part though. The good thing is Atom do sell replacement parts. Yep, that's putting out some hot air. Good. That will do. How much time did the heat heater last? About two years. Um, I mean, mine's that's lasted me about two years. This one. Um, and they cost like 20, 24, 25 pound and I've had that for a long time. I've had it for about two years. But I will keep that just as a spare just because it does work. It's just not quite as accurate as it should be. Um, it's about 15 or 20 degrees out. So yeah, there you go. It's that simple to change the elements in these. The last time I changed the element in mine was, um, it was about this time two years ago, roughly. And I use mine a lot. Like compared to, like let's say for example a hobbyist, I use mine a lot. I use it every day. So I really can't complain. Uh, you know, 20, 25 pound maintenance cost over the space of two years. Actually, I'll put that in the box. Um, I just took that in there. I just took it in a box somewhere. And then if it does come to where my heating, where this heating element just completely dies, I've got a spare which I can just call on. But they're not bad. Two years use of using it pretty much every day. So I'm going to write a label. Old heating element. So yeah, I'll know that's an old heating element. To be honest, I'll probably buy a... A spare, just so I've always got one, because I love my Atten hot air station. Absolutely love it. Mm, you cannot beat it for the price. But it's always good to have something as a backup plan. It's always good to have a backup plan. Which is why I bought that one before this one died as well. Because I don't want to risk being stuck without one. The only problem there is this is going to be really freaking tight for the first couple of weeks. Uh, that is going to be incredibly tight for the first couple of weeks. And that's not too bad actually. There you go. Good stuff. Happy? Well, not happy. I have to give 10 subs. Ha! Right. I'm going to leave you there, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you all hanging out. Thank you all. I really do appreciate it. Genuinely. And I'll see you all in the next one.